Hey guys, welcome back to my channel today. So today's video is going to be my Sephora VIB sale haul. I got so many goodies in this sale. As you know, it was 15% off like a week ago or so and my order just came in a couple of days ago but I haven't gotten around to filming this till now. So let's go ahead and show you guys what I got. I'm gonna start with the boring stuff, like the stuff that I needed because I'm running out of, which is always a good thing to buy during sales. So I did get the Clinique Take the Day Off um, makeup remover, which is my favorite makeup remover of all time. And this is like the bigger version. I've never seen this big of a version and I don't know why, but it's leaking. So yay. I love this stuff so much and I'm not exactly running out, but I figured I should just get things that I need during the sale so that, you know, I get a discount anyway. To go along with that, I got the Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm, which I also love to use in addition to the other makeup remover. And I actually am running out of this, so I did need to go ahead and purchase this. So yeah, it's kind of boring, but I did need it anyway. I also needed a new brow wiz. So this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow wiz in the shade Soft Brown. I was using Dark Brown, I think, but I wanted to try Soft Brown because I want to make my brows a little lighter because my hair is getting lighter and I want to go more blonde. So yeah. Um, I just, I'm not running out of my brow pencil, but I figured I should get one anyway because I'm going to need one eventually. And I got another of the Too Faced the Better Than Sex mascaras, which is my absolute favorite mascara. It's the mascara I use on a daily basis. So I just got another one of those. Finally, into the cool stuff. This is probably the thing I'm most excited for. I did go ahead and buy the Smashbox Casey Holmes Spotlight Palette, and this is in the shade Pearl. So excited for this. I'm gonna open it right now. It's really small, so it's travel friendly, and that's what I love about it. Honestly, I could take this on a trip and I wouldn't even notice that it's there. Um, and it comes with three different shades. And I think I, it was quite smaller than I was expecting. Like the pans are a little bit smaller than I was expecting, but honestly, I haven't run out of a highlight yet, honestly, because I have so many of them. So I don't think I'm gonna be running out of a highlight anytime soon, and I don't think these are so small that I'm ever going to run out of these. They look so pretty. I want to swatch them. So this one is the shade Turn It on, Turn It On Pearl. Oh, it's so pretty. I love it. Gorgeous. And then Crank It Up Pearl is the second one. Oh, this one's even prettier. So the first one's like pink and this one's more peach and then obviously this one's more white and this is blow a fuse pearl they're quite chalkier than i thought they would be um i'm not sure i'm into chalky highlights but we'll see how this goes i'm definitely planning on filming a first impressions kind of thing with all the stuff that i got kind of i don't know what to call it like a first impressions or trying new makeup not sure but i'm looking forward to trying this as an actual highlight seeing how it looks on my face i got a few new primers and by a few i actually mean a few i got the Too faced hangover rx primer and i actually had a sample of this from sephora and i loved it so much i had to get the full size i'm so excited to use this i can't wait i also got the milk makeup blur stick and i'm really intrigued by this packaging first of all and second of all i've heard great things about this and i wanted to try it for myself um but yeah i'm kind of excited i kind of want to see how it looks like now i'm not sure if it has a color because it looks like it has a color let's i'm just gonna swatch it like on the back of my hand oh no it's absolutely clear oh but it feels great it feels interesting it feels like a uh, leathery so i can't wait to try that on my face and i also got the it cosmetics bye bye pores primer Oh my god, this stuff. I've tried it before um, because I borrowed it from a friend. I love this. I needed to get this. I was so excited to get this. And yeah, I have really large pores. So I definitely need this in my life. I'm really excited to own that now. I also got a few foundations. Um, the first is the one I'm most excited for. The, this is the Kojendo Aqua Foundation. I've heard great things about it. And I got the shade 012, which is one of the lightest shades because, you know, um, pale so it looks like this and I'm really excited to try this. I don't know if this is too light for me. I wonder I thought I matched myself pretty well So maybe it just looks lighter in the tube. I'm not sure. I also got the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea water foundation I've heard great things about this as well and this is in the shade and light neutral I'm wondering if this is too dark for me now. I swear I'm crazy. Is it too dark? Oh, it might be perfect actually um, but I find the applicator of this so intriguing because like 
has like a button and like a, I don't know, it's very intriguing. And yeah, it says it's a water foundation, so I'm wondering. I've heard that it's not light coverage, despite the term water foundation kind of implying that it is. I don't know. I can't wait to try this. Along with that collection, I got the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Aqua Sealer Concealer. And yeah, I haven't heard much about this. I just wanted to try the same concealer from the same collection. And it's so cute. This is in the shade Fair Light because I definitely will be using this to, um, you know, highlight my under eye area. It's kind of the same applicator as the um, Shape Tape, which is one of my all-time holy grail concealers. I want to see how this lives up and compares to the Shape Tape as well. I got one eyeshadow palette and I did mention that I was going to buy this in my VIB sale recommendations and wish list. And it is, I don't know why I took it out of the packaging, but it's the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette. And this is what it looks like. And I have swatched some of these and I absolutely love it so far. Um, you have your cool tones, you have your warm tones, you have your pinks, you have your, I don't know, browns and golds. And I just think it's a really versatile palette to have in your collection and I just wanted to buy it. Plus, I love this packaging. It's really velvety. Love it. So that's everything that I bought. But with my points, I got this uh, First Aid Beauty um, thing and it comes with the Ultra Repair Cream, the Coconut Skin Smooth Priming Moisturizer, the Pure Skin Face Cleanser, which I have not tried before actually, and the Hydrating Serum, which I, I haven't tried any of these things actually. I've tried a lot from First Aid Beauty, but I haven't tried these. Um, I love First Aid Beauty and I highly recommend it to anybody, but I'm wondering how these are. So that's why I wanted to try this. I thought I would mention that too. That's it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. And don't forget to follow me on my social media. I'll have it linked down below and right here. And yeah, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe. And uh, while you're down there, just you know hit that notification little bell button so you get notified for future uploads. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video, which will be sometime in the very near future. Bye.